Hello everyone and welcome back. So, so far in this partial fraction decomposition video series, we learn how to decompose a given rational function, right? And in the last video, we learn a one method to evaluate the constants like A, B and C, uh, the, the constants that you get from this decomposition, right? And I promised you there, well, there are a couple of methods you can use to evaluate these constants. So in this video, I will teach you the second method. Now the second method works best with the problems where you have irreducible factors, okay? Just like here on the denominator, we have x square plus one, you cannot factor it furthermore, so it's irreducible, right? So let's write the decomposition first. So if you write the decomposition for x, we have a over x, for x square plus one, we have x square plus one on the bottom, and bx plus c on the top, okay? So the second method starts same as the first method. So the idea here is again, get rid of all the denominators in both left hand side and the right hand side. So what we do is just like in method one, take the big denominator of the rational function, of the big rational function, multiply every term on the left hand side, on the right hand side by this big denominator. So on the left hand side, we will be left with x square plus x minus seven with a x will cancel out so we will left with x square plus one with bx plus c now i would have parentheses like this we will left with x right because x square plus one will cancel out when you multiply by x times x square plus one all right so now here's the thing now uh, if we try to use method one okay we can use magic number so the magic number here is x is equal to 0 one magic number right so when x is equal to 0 this term will vanish right and if we do that we get 0 here plus 0 minus 7 if x is equal to 0 here a times 0 square plus 1 is a right a times 1 and this term will vanish so a is going to be what negative 7 so that's okay we can find a using method 1 but how about b and c tell me a magic number we can use so that a vanish and we can get b and c well we don't have right so we want to make this term zero is there a x value that makes this factor zero so that a vanish no right can you use x is equal to negative one no it would not do that okay it wouldn't help us here so the problem here really is that we cannot find the x value that makes this term zero so there's no magic number but you can still use method one okay don't get me wrong you can use any number you like use x is equal to one and use x is equal to negative one and then you can get two equations involving b and c two constants and two equations so all those two equations you can get b and c but let me show you the method two. The new method, uh, so we start from here, okay? So what we're gonna do with the new method is I'm gonna expand everything. So multiply by a, so we get a x square plus a, and multiply by x, expand b x square plus c x. Okay, so this is where the difference start from, okay, with method one and method two. So in method two, expand everything. Once you get got rid of the denominators, expand everything on the right hand side now i have on the right hand side i have an expression without parenthesis because we expand everything now what you should do is regroup the terms on the right hand side that means uh, take the similar terms a x square b x square those are similar terms so we have x square terms so a x square plus b x square make them closer and then after x square term take x term c x then constant term a okay all right so now we can combine these two terms we can get a plus b x square here c x plus a so what i did is i regroup them okay i make sure the similar terms stay close to each other see x square term x term and constant okay now what we can do is we can compare left hand side and right hand side so the idea is left hand side x square term should be equal to the right hand side x square term okay left hand side x term should be equal to the right hand side x term left hand side constant term should be equal to the right hand side constant term term by term they should be same okay the equivalent terms so guess what 
So the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 1, right? The coefficient of the x square term of the right hand side is what? a plus b. So a plus b should be 1. That's the idea. The equivalent terms should be equal, okay? So x term, coefficient of the x term on the um, left hand side is 1. Right hand side, coefficient of the x term is c. So c is 1. There you go. You found c already. All right, so constant term on the left hand side is negative 7, constant term on the right hand side is a, so there you go, you found a, a is negative 7, c is 1, so now you know a, so a is negative 7, guess what, what is b? b is, if you take negative 7 to the other side, b is 8. So we have all three constants that we need, right? So a is negative 7, b is 8, c is 1, so there you go, the complete decomposition. So again, what is method 2? Method 2 means same as method 1, start similarly like method 1, but once you got rid of the denominators, expand everything on the right hand side, get rid of parentheses, and then regroup, okay? Uh, make the similar terms, get, get them closer, and then compare coefficient by coefficient with left hand side and right hand side. Let me show you another example, okay? I will show you another example. Um, two examples with this example okay in the final exam example i will discuss like how do you choose between method one and method two okay given a problem all right now now you can see why we choose method two this new method for irreducible factors the reason is we do not have that magic numbers with irreducible factors okay all right so get rid of the denominators so here the decomposition i mean i, I was talking too much i already wrote the decomposition this is an irreducible factor okay so if you multiply everything by this big denominator left hand side 2x square plus x minus 3 on the right hand side a times x square plus x plus 1 right x will cancel out this term will uh, leave with a bx plus c will leave with x right because x square plus x plus 1 will cancel out when you multiply all right so now what do you do oops expand everything a x square plus a x plus a plus here multiply by x b x square plus c x right now regroup so x square times closer so a plus b x square x times a x and c x so a plus c times x constant term is just a right yes okay now the right left hand side is 2x square plus x minus 3 perfect now compare term by term so here i would i would be a little bit smart i would start with the constant terms okay rather than starting uh, comparing x square terms okay you can do that as well but doesn't matter but here's 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 something so constant term here is negative 3 so negative 3 should be equal to the constant single constant term on the right which is a so there you go you already found a a is negative 3 now compare the x coefficient so if you compare the x term left hand side the coefficient is 1 on the right hand side it's a plus c so we already know a is negative 3 so c is what 4 right all right now if you compare the x square terms coefficient of x square term on the left is 2 coefficient of x square term on the right is a plus b what is a again negative 3 so b is what 5 all right so there you go you found all the constants so a is negative 3 so negative 3 of x here b is what 5x and uh, c is what 4 okay here we go the complete decomposition okay so as you can see method 2 is easy right all right, so let's do a very different example. Let me write down the problem. Uh, okay, where do I have it? So we have the problem x over x plus 1 times x square plus 1 square. Now, this is an irreducible factor, but it's repeated twice. So if you write the decomposition, you would get a over x plus 1 plus b over x square plus 1. Well, bx plus c, I almost forgot that. And then there's another one for repeated one, x square plus 1 square, right? So this is dx plus e. All right. Now, let me do this fast, okay? So if you multiply everything by this big denominator, you would left it x, a, x square plus 1 square, okay? You would multiply by x plus 1 
times x square plus 1 square okay because that's the denominator so here you would left it a times x square plus 1 square here bx plus c guess what's what it's left it x plus 1 and 1 x square plus 1 okay because 1 x square plus 1 will cancel out and 1 will remain and then uh, with the dx plus e we will left with what x plus 1 right x square plus 1 square will cancel out no just x plus 1 all right now here what can you use which method should you use well you have two options it's totally up to you so that's the point here okay so i can't say you should use method one or method two okay depends on the person so let me show you the both options i'm not going to solve the problem but i'm i'm going to show you the challenges so if you use method one m1 if you decide to use method one use a magic number so the only magic number you can use is x, x is equal to negative one so here when x is equal to negative one this term vanish this term vanish so you would find a a is going to be i guess negative one over four if you found it very quickly okay but after that there are no magic numbers okay you can't use any other magic numbers so that this a term vanish or this term only vanish you can't find those numbers so what you have to do is you have to come up with arbitrary numbers so if you going in that route you have to use x is equal to zero x is equal to one x is equal to negative t two perhaps another option x is equal to two so plug several numbers and get several equations involving b c d and e remember there are four constants b c d and e to find so you need four equations so that is why i have four choices so you will get four equations and you have to solve these four equations together so that's the challenge with method one now maybe that's okay with you it really depends on the person okay it's something that's personal okay it depends on your algebra levels uh, skill levels now the method two so speaking about method two if you want to use method two you have to expand this okay maybe some students are okay with that maybe some students are not okay with that so you have to expand load here even x square plus one square you have to expand that so if you expand this exactly what you get is x is equal to a x to the 4 you have to be careful 2a x square plus a plus b x to the 4 plus b x square b x cubed plus um b x plus c x cubed plus c x plus c x square plus c plus it's long okay so d x square plus e x plus d x plus c see this is a long expression now you have to regroup it okay and then compare coefficients from here it's easy the hard part is to actually expand all these okay carefully so the method two that expansion is difficult so both methods are difficult here okay but choose the one that fits for you okay i would suggest you i would recommend you to try both of these methods and see uh, what's going on pick up the pick up the method that you really like okay you can use both of these methods with any problem doesn't matter what factors you have linear factors or repeated factors or irreducible factors it's all about um, your algebra skill level okay all right so that's it what i have for this video so i presented you both of methods practice few problems from both of methods practice makes you perfect and in the next video remember we still have to go over case two where the numerator has the bigger polynomial than the denominator okay so i'll catch you there thank you very much bye bye